This morning, maybe a different sort of uh, assembly for you. Many of you may not have ever uh, participated in a groundbreaking ceremony. I want you to know and be assured that we did dig the hole and we filled it in and have a little dirt left over. We'll take care of it by your gym time today, however. We'd like to welcome uh, all of you students, parents, grandparents, um, to our groundbreaking ceremony. I was involved in one previous to this when we did Indian Woods several years ago. And it's very symbolic of what is taking place today. About a year and a half ago, the voters of Poirier Area School District voted a bond issue that would guarantee that we would be able to build some new, much needed rooms in our school district. As you know, the problem here is that we have all of our rooms being used every hour, plus even one hour we have a teacher in the dining commons, which is not the way we would like to have it. So beginning right now, you've already seen the uh, fenced in area to the northeast section. That is roping off the area in which we're going to build the six new rooms. It will contain two new science rooms plus four regular classrooms. This will alleviate our enrollment problem for the time being. However, probably next year they will be full. The project is expected to be done by next September of 92 and we can start our uh, school year with those rooms available to us. At this time, I would like for you to stand and we will have the pledge of the flag. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. William Kimball, Assistant Superintendent for Instruction for the School District. Mr. Roy French, Architect Firm. And Mr. Robert Dickinson, who is our Construction Manager for the project. He's bashful, but he's back there. At this time, we will begin the uh, ceremony by bringing some people forward who will use the uh, special shovel to move some of the dirt, which will be symbolic of our beginning this project. As you are well aware from looking out the back windows, the project has already begun. But uh, we would like to do this because it's very uh, demonstrative of what we hope to do here at Holland Woods. This gives us a great opportunity to improve our instructional program, and we're looking forward to having a new facility starting next fall. I would like to begin the ceremony by having our National Junior Honor Society president, Ms. Rebecca Beyer, take the first shovel full. Council President Mrs. Jane Ruthman to be with us today, but she is ill, so stand, and standing in for her very uh, appropriately is Mrs. Janet Moretz. Would you come forward, please? Wow. 
representing our staff, Mrs. Yolanda Haynes. the honor for the building administration. Someone said I was good at shoveling that stuff, so. Representing our school district, our superintendent, Mr. Larry Moeller, Sr. And representing the City of Port Huron, our Mayor, Mrs. Mary Brooks. <laughs> representing the Board of Education, Mr. James Relkin. For a very special few remarks, we have speaking first, our Mayor, Mrs. Mary Brooks. Good morning. Good morning. I'm very happy to be here representing the citizens of Port Huron at this very special, symbolic, groundbreaking ceremony. It would be nice if we could have been all outside, but I don't think they wanted to get your shoes all muddy. So here we are. This is a very special occasion also. It is very, very special to all of the people who voted and showed their confidence in our school district by voting for these building additions that we're going through right now. It is very special to the parents the administration and the teachers of Holland Wood School to have this happening here. But most of all, it is very special for the 574 students that attend this school and the ones that will be attending this school in the future to have the addition here. I think that a community as a whole, we certainly all benefit from anything that we can do for the future of our children. It's special for all of us, and we want to make the most of it. Thank you very much for including me today. We have a few remarks from Representative Keith Muxlow. Thank you. And I would also like to thank you for including me in your program today. These are exciting times to be involved in education as a teacher, administrator, or a student. The state of Michigan and majority of the legislatures, legislators and the governor has indicated that we're going to take a new approach and we have and we're going to make education a top priority in the state of Michigan. Possibly something that's been missing for all too long. And on the other half of that we can't remember, that we can't forget the support that uh, the uh, community has given the Port Huron area schools and the support of their millage to continue these projects. I think that it indicates that the communities and the uh, state and our educational departments are all moving in the same direction. The end results, I think, are going to be very gratifying that will, as a uh, result of uh, uh, better educated, better prepared students as they leave our school system in the years to come. And I'm very happy to have played a small part of that from the uh, perspective of the state of Michigan. I also want to uh, uh, indicate to you that we have strong support also from Senator DeGroo, very strong support, as well as Representative London, who, aren't, who wasn't able to be here today, but certainly they're on our side. And thank you again for inviting me to share the day with you.
Now we'll hear from our board member, Mr. James Rowe. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and to all, particularly to the students in this room. You know, I always think you should work from example. And what I'd like to do, I'd like to reach into my uh, back pocket and pull out my wallet. Yes, my wife's picture is in here, and I, and I, I look at it every day. But what I'd really like to do, I'd like to, I'd like to dig a dollar bill out. Okay? And I'd just like to mention that you need to go home tonight and thank your parents and your grandparents and your neighbors because they've dug into their wallets and their purses to dig out a lot of these $1 bills to the tune of 15 million of them. If we were to pile them all up on the floor here, it would really mean something, wouldn't it? And it's a commitment, it's a commitment to our community and to all of you sitting in this room because you will all benefit from the dollars that have been given and the dollars that will be spent. So I congratulate the taxpayers, we congratulate you students and to the staff here at Holland Woods have a great time as you see the construction project begin, and we'll look forward to coming back next year for the dedication. Thank you. As always, I have a special announcement to make. As we conclude the ceremony this morning, I would like uh, each homeroom to send two representatives from your homeroom to the dining commons to pick up the refreshments that we'll be serving back in your homeroom. Two representatives from each homeroom. All right, before we dismiss, I just have a couple of words that I would like to say to you. I think that you know very, uh, very well how I feel about you. I think that I am very proud of Hollywood School. I think we should keep in mind that as we build this new addition to our building that it's not the brick and mortar that really matters all that much. It's the people inside and how we can help one another to do that. I have always said that a school is a place where state mistakes can be made and I certainly make my share. This whole is one example. But each one of us could benefit from this in that as we make mistakes, we learn that we don't make the same mistakes over and over and over again. And we learn and we go on with our lives. There are those people who are always telling us to grow up, to act our age, and many times we do. There are three things that I'd like for you to remember as we continue on growing and living together. Number one is that life is not fair and that we take what cards that we are dealt and it's how we, do, how we play them that really matters. The second thing I'd like for you to remember is that you have to respect authority that is earned. We need to know that and able to get along in this community and to live our lives in service to other people. And the third thing I'd like for you to remember is to accept responsibility for your own actions. We must always do that and not blame the other fellow, but look at our lives and be able to accept those things that we have done, honestly. There are three places that I really like to be. Number one, I like to be at home with my family. Number two, I like to be alone in the woods with my God. And third, I like to be here at Holland Woods with you. And I want you to remember one thing before I get too emotional about it. There's three words that I want to say to you that we all like to hear. Let's go eat. 